Hello, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher, and today is our last day of the 12 days of Christmas baking series. And goodness gracious, y'all, I am almost ready to be done because I feel like I have had enough chocolate in the last two weeks to be done. So my waistline needs to stop this. But anyways, we are making today one of my all-time favorites. It is peanut butter Buckeye balls. They are so, so, so yummy and so simple to make. Um, the only thing is they're kind of messy. So I'm going to go more through like the directions of how to do it. Um, and then I'll kind of show you the end, but I'm just going to tell you this is a really, really messy recipe, but here's what you're going to need. You need one and a half cups of creamy peanut butter. These are actually on sale at Kroger this week and you need an entire one of those. So you want to get a whole one of the, um, this is, this actually equals exactly one and a half cups so if you get a 16 ounce jar that's gonna work I see folks are hopping on thank you so much for those likes and hearts that helps me know from over here when I can't see you that y'all are seeing this so if you can um, also leave any comments on where you're at I see somebody from Wilkesboro Pennsylvania hi Rebecca thanks for those hearts I appreciate it so much okay so sorry I got all confused I get excited when I see y'all hop on it makes me all excited that you're here okay so you need a 15 ounce can of creamy peanut butter on sale at Kroger this week you need half a stick of, or I'm sorry, you need one stick of butter or half a cup of butter. You need two cups of Nestle Toll House morsels. You need, let me make sure I've got this written down right, um, a pound of powdered sugar, which is about three and a half cups. And then you need a tablespoon of shortening. So what you're going to do and what I did already is you're going to go ahead and you're going to mix together your peanut butter and your um, butter first. You want your butter to be softened. So I've already done that. Went ahead and you mix those together. Then you're gonna um, go ahead and make the, and then you're gonna add in your um, pound of powdered sugar, like I said, about three and a half cups, and you're gonna make these balls. So I've already made the balls. Once you've done that, you pop them in the refrigerator, you let them refrigerate for about, I'd say, um, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So let them refrigerate. Here's the thing, they are gonna be, it's kind of crumbly, so you kinda kinda press those together so they make a really good um, little ball for you. Then once you're done, you're just gonna take the peanut butter ball you're gonna mix together your tablespoon of shortening, two cups of chocolate chips. Guys, in the directions in the cookbook, which you can get over at passionatepennypincher.com, I told you you need to use a double broiler and all that craziness. You really don't. Just do it in the microwave. It's way easier. So in the microwave, just melt the shortening and the two cups of chocolate chips, and then you're gonna have those until they're good and melted, and then you literally just drop them in. Um, here's the thing. This is messy. There are lots of different ways to make them. Can y'all see this? I'm hoping you can see that. Okay, there's that. Um, I just do it in my, hang on, this is gonna fall over. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, so I just do it in a good Pyrex. So that's where I mix it at. Then you're just gonna place those out on the sheet. I know some people make these and they leave them without the top. Um, so it looks more like a traditional Buckeye. Is that how y'all do those? Um, because I'm lazy and it's easier, I just dump the whole thing in the chocolate um, and then I place it on some parchment paper and then you refrigerate for about an hour and then you've got your Buckeye balls. I do keep mine refrigerated because um, I feel like they hold up a little better that way. Are y'all seeing those? If you guys have other tips on how to make them as far as um, how to get them in and out of here, I've seen people use toothpicks, um, prongs, but you can see they just are real easy to make. Super simple. They're so yummy. I mean, so, so, so yummy. So there's another one. So you can download the recipe over at passionatepennypincher.com. If you click the link above, it's going to take you right to it. Um, it's super, super easy. I'm going to look real fast for your comments. Hi, Helen. Good to see you on today. You're from California today. Hopefully, at where we are, it is freezing out. It was just freezing. We had um, freezing ice. In fact, this morning there was ice on the roadway. So for you guys who are out in California or somewhere warm, I'm a little bit jealous. If you guys have other tips on how to make these even easier, I would love to hear those. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Let me know if you've made any of the recipes in the cookbook. I'd love to hear what you've made. Definitely download your free copy. It's totally free. You can get all 12 recipes and your baking list, and you can go to the store and have lots of recipes to make this next week. I hope you all have enjoyed this series. I'm not sure if I'll do another baking series at least this week because I've made a ton of food, but um, it was fun to get to make everything, and I hope you all have enjoyed it too. You guys have a great afternoon, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.